Good. What's it like to be back here? It's great, man. We're standing on the fourth style, get the standing ovation, um, being back in this um, environment. It's really, it's really um, nice. Did you come back to train, or were you just back in town for to be back, or what? I mean, both. Um, you know, Jeff hit me up, and he basically told me I, if, if I ever need to come down here and train, um, he, I'm welcome too. And you know, I took advantage of it, came down here, and I've been working out with him ever since. When do you leave for Japan? Um, I leave end of this week, um, potentially next week. What's it like to come back here? What's the, what's the response from people here after what you did here? I mean, it, it feels great. You know, like I said this time, um, getting the same innovation, I was in awe, like myself. Like, even after playing that, that long and, you know, being in this environment for a long time, just being, like, being, just watching it, you know, and getting that same innovation, it was, it was incredible. I was, like, shocked. I was, like, oh, like this is what it really looks like because I never really looked up. It's just really nice. What has last five, six months been like for you, pursuing the dream, going through that whole process? It's been great, you know, it's a taste of something different, you know, it's different than what I'm used to, but it's been great, I've been prepared for it my whole life, and you know, to finally be able to, like, you know, say that, okay, I'm playing professional now, but I can be able to come back to my old school, you know, and have a legacy here, it's, it's, it's incredible. How did the opportunity to do it come together for you? I'm kidding, my, my, through my agent, my agent, basically, Todd Ramazar, he's been, he been, like, trying to guide me and, like, made me, help me make the best decision, and they made an offer, and he basically brought it, brought it towards me. I'm just going over there and competing, you know, Japan's a beautiful country, so I'm exploring it, you know, trying to learn new things, I'm meeting new people. How do you feel like Illinois prepared you for this next step of your journey? It definitely did, I mean, you know, the toughest part of it, you know, when you when you hear about Illinois, you hear about toughness, you hear about, like, uh, maturity, I mean, so that definitely helped me, but going over there, going to something, something new, me being from Jamaica, going to New York and then coming here, it's definitely, it's definitely going to play, play a huge part in that. Some guys want to stay stateside, maybe take their chance in the G League. Why did you want to go to Japan? I think it was just an um, opportunity to um, go and play, play a lot right away, you know, and also get paid, you know, and explore a new country. Um, just everything about it, you know, is a combination of a lot of things. What other options did you have? Why was that? Well, options, yeah. Utah Jazz, I had options with them, um, you know, but I decided that eventually me and my family um, came together, we spoke about it, and we chose to jump to Japan. What did you learn about yourself in the summer league as far as getting back here and playing in the league eventually? What have I learned about myself? Um, just keep growing, you know, there's always more things you can learn. I just keep growing, um, keep, ded keep dedicated, um, you know, never lose your focus on what you want to do. What was the experience like for the summer? Being able to do this for summer league, you know, what that was? It was really fun. Um, like I said, you know, it's always been meeting new people and, you know, um, going into a different program and, you know, adapting and changing. I mean, so it's been fun. Those guys were really great to me. Um, you know, the team, my teammates, they were really fun to play with and, you know, to just learn about them and get to know them. It really, really, really fun. Isn't it strange not being the biggest guy on the team in Taco? Not really. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm used to playing with, with big people, you know, from high school. Um, you know, I had a lot of big dudes on my side on my team, so I'm really used to that. I um, mean, you know, so. Even Taco, he's a great guy, man. Like, you know, he made it really easy for me. I've seen goal, still probably get to the NBA, right? So, what did you worry about how you got to get there? How you can. Get... How I got to get there? I'm, I feel like I, I think I have all the, all the assets I need. You know, just keep sharpening them, keep working on them. I um, you know, go over to Japan and dominate, obviously. And, you know, give myself the best shot I can. I can. What was the number one thing you're missing as far as not being in the line of uniform? What thing I'm missing? My practices. Those practices definitely, you know, it, it really hit different, you know, like come, I came back and I watched practice yesterday and it really hit different. I'm like, yo, wow, you really used to be a part of this. Like, it's just so fun, you know, being out there with those guys, you know, those your brothers and just like help, help, helping each other get better. There's nothing like it. So your former teammates have had a lot of success overseas, like Andre's friends so far. You guys talk to him about yeah. you know, what it's like over that, that's overseas. Me, that's me the trend. Um, he told me, like, from what I heard from him, it's really fun. You know, he's just, he's just like loose right now. He's just like... Playing freely, you can do whatever you want. What do you think of this new look roster? Not a lot of guys you play with. Yeah, definitely. Um, most of the guys on the team, I actually recruited them. You know, so like, like all of Jaden, um, even even TJ. You know, TJ, all those guys. I really, I helped recruit them. So like, I knew them before they even got here, um, just by talking to them and texting them. So I think it's, I think it's really, it's really interesting. Not seeing all the faces that I'm used to, but it's also fun getting to know these, know these guys. Did you talk to Matthew and those guys too? Like, what, yeah. what do you tell those guys about it when they're talking? Nothing but great things, obviously. <laughs> they're here right now. I spoke to Matthew in the combine. I mean, we had a, 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 like a long talk about it, and like it's interesting seeing him here right now. What do you gonna look back on the trophy most fondly in your time here? In my time here, definitely that last game I played here. I'm back there on the senior night game. I'm winning the Big Ten championship. I'm having a storm, the, the, the point storm. 
that was the best moment of my life, and I'll cherish it forever. Tommy, you said you're a Lakers fan at the end of this week. When does your season start? It started already. It's, it's, um, it's a very rare thing, you know, not a lot, lot of guys accomplish that, and for me to be able to accomplish it, it's, it's, very, it's very interesting. Have they spoken to you yet about uh, raising your jersey up into the Raptors? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it.